Welcome to Big Basin Redwood State Park. Welcome to Mariposa Grove. We are visiting the uh, giant sequoia trees. They are, as you can tell, massive. One of the world's largest trees. They can grow to about 300 feet, which is like 90 meters. And the reason they can get so big is they can live like 3,000 years. It can be about 100 feet in circumference, which is like 30-ish meters. My dream is to go and hug one of these massive, massive trees. So despite the rain, we're gonna hike in, look for one, find one, give it a hug. <laughs> okay. Due to the rain just being insane, I'm switching over to the GoPro. Hopefully the quality difference isn't too horrible. It's California. What happened to the sunshine and the, the, and the, the, the sunshine? I think he stopped drinking the rain. Stop it! It's dirty! Don't drink the rain! Please drink it! I can drink it too! Stop it! <laughs> So giant sequoias are very temperamental trees that only really grow in very specific environments which is why we're hiking an hour in the snow and rain just to catch a glimpse of one. I think we caught our first glimpse of giant sequoias. These probably aren't the biggest in the park because we're not actually there yet but holy moly I don't know if you can tell on video how thick they are. <laughs> Go get them, V. Go get them. Oh, wow. And this is this looks like the smallest. There's a huge one over there. Oh my god. Like look at it compared to the trees beside it. These ones are like still pretty big trees over here. Do you want me to And then that me? is just a massive monster. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the size of it. I'm five foot two at the tallest. <laughs> Look at this tree. This is one root. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh god, oh, yeah. To give you an idea on how deep the snow is, there's a fence post here that's normally about my chest height, but now it's, you know, ground level. Stop ah. eating snow. Bear! Bear, bear! You stop it right now. Hey! Hey! So behind me here is the grizzly giant. It is one of the most iconic uh, sequoia trees in this grove. Uh, we're not allowed going up to it near it just because um, we want to preserve the, the land that, that it's sitting on, make sure we don't do any damage. Uh, but you can see at the base, it's 
It's been kind of carved out and it's blackened and it's because there's been so many forest fires. This one, I believe they said is around 2,000 years old. Since we can't go and touch the giant grizzly, the grizzly giant, uh, we're gonna keep walking around exploring, see if we can find one that is not in a fenced area, uh, maybe even out by the, the parking lot, like the first ones that we saw, kind of out in the open and we'll go and hug one of those, okay? So much rain right now that our river is going straight through the path. I don't think you can tell how big it is, so I'll go hug it. touched a giant sequoia tree it showcases how small we are on this planet yep. and the fact that such enormous life forms are this delicate puts into perspective how, how we have to take care of everything because climate change is changing the environment for these trees and even the most minute changes to the environment can take down yeah. These large, incredible things that have been living here for thousands, thousands of, years. of years really puts into perspective like how how important our role is in in taking care of this this world and everything that lives on it. That's right. You do have an impact. Oh my god. This is a pine cone for a different species of tree. I forgot <sighs> which one. It said on the board. But this is huge! <laughs> oh my god. This is like the length of from my hand to my elbow. Jeez. So that giant pine cone that we found, it's it's actually a sugar pine, so it's not even to 50 centimeters. Yeah. It's it's not even the giant sequoia. The giant sequoia is way smaller. Four to seven centimeters. <laughs> Makes no sense. Look at this. This is a giant sequoia that uh, people have cut a tunnel through, so while it's still alive, and we shouldn't ever do it again, they've already done it, so <laughs> let's walk through, because this is insane. Also another reason why people, this er these areas are fenced off, is because people like to carve into trees, and that's slowly damaging the health of the tree, so you know, it's just, it's better we leave everything alone. It has this hole cut through it, but it's still alive because it was so big that there's still root systems on either side of it. Yeah, they're not the tallest tree, but they're, they're quite really big. fat, and that's why they're one of the biggest trees. I think the redwoods are still the tallest yep, tree, yep, right? Yeah. Yeah. While we're at one of these giant cut down trees, might as well talk about the anatomy of a tree and how it grows. So the dead center of a tree. That's called the heartwood. And just on the outside of that is going to be the sapwood. And that part is going to be the part that transfers the water uh, up and down from the roots of the tree up to the top. Sometimes. Sometimes trees are so big that it has difficulty transferring it, which is how some trees die. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, then outside of that is the cambrium, or cambrium. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced. Um, but that's the part that grows a little bit each year so that it forms the rings So each year it forms another ring. That's what they're talking about. Then you have the inner bark uh, Closer to the outside that part's going to transfer the the other types of nutrients and, and tree food up and down uh, And then on the outside is going to be the outer bark and the outer bark is there to protect like a shell all the the internal organs are or whatever. Uh, so as the cambrium gets bigger, it's gonna push the the outer bark uh, out, which is why bark slowly kind of sheds and molts off as the tree gets bigger, and then it just regrows it, just like our skin. We will shed our skin, and new cells will replace it. It's the same for the tree. So that's, that's the anatomy of a tree, kind of. I'm not an expert on this, so it's probably half wrong, but hopefully, hopefully I'm right. <laughs> The last day we're in California and yesterday 
we hugged some of the giant sequoia trees and today we're at uh, Big Basin Redwood State Park which houses a lot of really amazing redwoods so yesterday giant sequoias today we're gonna try and hunt down and hug some big redwoods this is the most luxurious hike ever there's a water fountain in the middle of the hike <sighs> So here comes the hug. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the spider webs. <laughs> redwoods are the tallest trees in the world. The giant sequoias are wider, but redwoods are taller overall, and they are incredible. The the bark itself is about a foot deep, um, and or 12 inches or 30 centimeters, and that prote helps to protect it from things like forest fires. The red coloring is due to, um, is it a chemical? or is, It's something called tannin. That helps prevent uh, termites and other pests and bugs and things from actually uh, going in. It's, it's a repellent of those creatures. Redwoods are really amazing because as tall as they are, they only their root system only burrows about six to eight feet deep. Uh, and considering how tall these things are, like considering how tall they are, that root, that kind of root system is actually quite short. And uh, so what they do to actually support themselves is their root system spreads sideways and then it goes to neighboring redwoods and those neighboring redwoods will entangle their root systems and so all of them kind of hold hands in a way and it's really cute. Um, <laughs> and it forms this great family of amazing trees. So, you know, redwoods and giant sequoias, two incredible trees and this bark is just amazing, like the texture of it. Wow. This is the mother of the forest. Ta -da! This tree is uh, currently 290 odd feet. Um, it used to be 330 odd feet but um, uh, lightning struck it or something and then the top fell off. This is the tallest tree in Big Basin Redwood State Park. Like uh, you can't tell you can't tell how thick that base is. I think it's as wide as our house really <laughs> in terms of width lengthwise our house is longer but width wise I feel like our whole kitchen hallway oh, yeah, actually, yeah, span I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the width of that which is just insane we could live inside this tree is what we're saying <laughs> we're not going to because we love this tree <laughs> this is the statue of liberty and here is a fully grown redwood i'm not even that and tall <laughs> what that's a tyrannosaurus rex yeah <laughs> so we always talk about things that we learn when we're on these adventures and what i've learned is that it's really really hard to film tall trees. How do you fit it in the frame? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So I hope you've enjoyed tagging along on our adventures in California. We're gonna be heading back to Toronto in the morning. Keep learning, leaping, and living, and we'll see you on the flip side. See ya. This week on This Is Eric, we're gonna hug a bunch of trees. Dance for us. Yes, V, dance. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>